Robert, welcome to the club. Um, just firstly, what are your initial thoughts on joining Hull City? Um, well, I'm, I'm quite glad that it's, it's sorted now. Uh, it's been obviously um, a few a few days um, to get things, you know, um, right for both parties. Um, obviously, the club of of done everything they possibly can really to, to get it through the door and, and that side it was you know um, quite appealing to me um, and the way they sold the club to us was, was really good you know um, and of, after a, f a few lengthy discussions um, with, with, with Steve Bruce and obviously discussions with the owners that uh, you know I, I was I was desperate to come here um, a few days to, to get um, obviously my family and stuff uh, ready for the new chapter and as I say I'm delighted. It's been speculated about for a while. Um, when did it become a, a serious option for you? Um, well, uh, I think it was the, the Norwich side of things where, you know, if they want to sell, um, and, and basically because obviously I had a year left of my contract, uh, I think they took that option. Um, and I, I believe they knocked back a few a few offers. So um, it was it was just a case for me if if anything was going to happen then you know I've got um, a family and stuff that you know I need to get it done and, and I'd like um, it to be done before you know to meet all my new teammates and stuff um, and as I say when I when I had the initial contact I was I was delighted to um, you know get the ball rolling and, and delighted the way things move so quickly. I know you enjoyed your time at Norwich. How difficult was it to leave? It was very difficult, um, you know, when you get a connection with the club and um, and, and you, you meet these people and, and you, you become really, really friends with them and, uh, and a lovely place to live. Um, my kids were um, settled um, at school there as well, so it was um, it was difficult. But you know, I'm a realist. I understand um, when you're in this, this business, uh, it's you know, uh, and so when you're patriotic as well, and, and you want to try and um, you know, play at the highest possible level. Um, as I told you before, I, I'm one of those characters that, you know, I don't want to just sit somewhere. Um, and, you know, the level of such, uh, you know, the championship I've played there, it's a fantastic league, but, you know, when you get two years in the taste of playing in the Premier League, that's exactly where I wanted to be at, you know. Um, and, you know, I'm delighted it's with Hull City. As you've alluded to, there it is a chance to continue your career in the Premier League. Yeah, of course. Well, um, every player will tell you they want to play in uh, the top flight, and you know I've had the chance um, over the last two years, and um, I I'm just delighted I'm back there. You know, um, to try and move forward, um, and you know, Hull City, especially obviously here last season, the atmosphere and stuff was was different class. You know, and, and it made it really, really difficult for us to obviously get a man sent off that day. And you know, as as if they had an extra man, you know, it was it was very difficult. Um, and you know, I'm uh, I'm I'm looking forward to that part and and, and, and setting the new, uh, getting the new season underway. Um, and looking forward to the future. What did Steve Bruce say to convince you to come here? Just as a club on the up, really, um, and describe the, the the club and what it means to, to the fans and them and, and, and the players and. Um, it's been a very successful two year um, for the promotion and obviously getting to the FA Cup last year. So you know when when, when a team's doing that and they're so successful, you, you try and look into that and try and buy into it really, and, and that's what he done. And it was it was um, um, only a matter of time before um, we got um, the ball rolling. And, uh, and as I say, we obviously ended up here, and it's you know, I'm delighted. Looking to build on the club's best season in its history, and you can only do that by improving the squad and, and adding to it. Of which you're part of. How much are you looking forward to being a part? Yeah, of, that? of course. Well, he's he's, um, he's got a few obviously targets um, that he's he's got in myself and in in Jake um, Livermore, uh, who obviously was was here last season. So you know he, he knows the Premier League well. He's he's coached in here before, and uh, he, he knows what the market is. And he knows um, you know uh, what he wants to try and take the club forward, um, and you know the way. You know, for any player that's, that's wanting to um, sit down and talk to them, I, I, I'm sure they won't be very far away with the signings anyway. Because you know the way they've done things has been, you know, different class here for me especially. So um, as I say, I'm, I'm delighted. It's um, all done and dusted. Um, I'm really looking forward to the new challenge. Looking at your own attributes, you can play on the left, the right. You can play in a more central attacking role. Which is your preference, or 
<coughs> well, I've, I've, to be fair, I've played on the, the right most of the, the season um, for Scotland. I play um, just off the striker um, type of thing. So, you know, I'll play wherever the manager wants me to play. You know, it's, it's an individual point of view you need to do as well as you possibly can. But, you know, it's, it's solely down to the team. Um, and, you know, if the team are, um, got, you know, lads that I want to try and kick on and set their sell targets to try and do well, then, as I say, it's only going to help the team. So, um, you know, great bunch of boys here. I, I know a good few of them, so I'm delighted to, um, you know, as I say, get it done dusted, but also to, to work with these lads and, and, and new teammates and, and try and hopefully um, push on and, and, and further my, obviously my career. And, and there's no better place to do that than, than Hill City. Pre-season starts next week. Are you looking forward to that? Yeah, of course. Um, it's always good to, to get to know your teammates and um, obviously the backroom staff as well and, and, and find my feet as, as such. So um, that will be a good trip uh, for, for obviously the new signings that come in, uh, whoever it may be. And hopefully we have a successful one because the games start um, in the next uh, maybe three or four weeks. So um, I'm really looking forward to that. Um, and pre-season, if you have a good pre-season, it sets you up well for the new season. So I can't wait. Of course, European football to look forward to. Is that going to be something new on your CV? Yes, um, something new for me um, and uh, a few probably uh, the other boys here as well. So, you know, all the boys will be looking forward to it. Um, really um, excited for the, for the new challenge that uh, pro obviously progresses um, to the next stages. Um, hopefully we can get that uh, as well. So, you know, uh, all the boys, are, um, they'll be be really looking forward to that um, and uh, so is myself so I, I, I can't wait. You mentioned Scotland earlier, you've really burst onto the international <coughs> scene in the last couple of years, where are we at with your, your international career at the moment? Yeah well, um, uh, well, well we've been putting a good few results together, um, Gordon Stratton's done fantastic since he came in so um, I, I, as I say I've been playing in a kind of central role for Scotland, um, I scored a few goals uh, which is, is quite good so yeah, I'm just uh, delighted to be part of that because I believe um, we'll have a very good chance um, of qualifying, better chance than we did last last time anyway. So it's been a while since Scotland have been in a major tournament. So um, we keep on saying this one or that one, you know. So um, too many times we've said that. So we need to go out and do it. Simple as that. Um, we've got the players in. Um, we've, we've built a, a great um, spirit and, and squad. So hopefully we can progress. And you'll be sharing this changing room with Alan McGregor, of course, one of your <laughs> Scottish teammates. Have you spoken to him in the last few yeah, years? Yeah, I've spoken to him. Yeah, I've spoken to him. Yeah, he's a, he's a very nice man. He's um, you know a top keeper as well. Um, he showed that every time. Uh, obviously, I've been away. Um, so first, I'll, I'll obviously link up with him. So um, you know, delighted to work with him and uh, a good few good few others as well. So I know a few of the boys. So and obviously meet um, boys that I've um, knew as well. So. Um, you know, it'll be good. It'll be, it's, as I say, it's all about um, new challenges for myself and, and new targets, an individual point of view and as a team point of view. We want to finish as high as we possibly can, um, and try and you know the manager as well. He's, he's, he's same ambition as myself. You try and win every game, um, and that's probably the way the boys approached it last year as well. So. I think um, that is that ambition as well is pretty much the same as myself and the fans and everybody involved. Um, when you want a football match, it only makes you um, one thing and that's happy. It um, doesn't matter what the result is or what way, as long as you get a good result. Um, so that's what obviously the new season's about. Um, try to win every, every football match and see um, how far we can go. As we've mentioned, you have played here a few times. Are you looking forward to having the fans on your side for a change? Yeah, yeah, it's, um, it'll be nice. Uh, you know, I'm usually getting uh, a bit of stick off them. So, as you know, every, every supporters like that, you know, I, I think obviously over that 90 minutes, um, you know, if, if you're not wearing that whole city jersey, then, you know, uh, you're hatred figure. So, um, you know, I'm delighted, um, you know, to, to, to have signed, but also to get that bond with the fans and, and try and show them what I can do, really, um, and, you know, they'll probably be thinking the same as, as myself, so, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Just finally, a couple of things that cropped up doing our research, um, mention of a, a trial turned down for Barcelona in your earlier career, is that true? Yeah, to be honest, I think there was, there's, there's been loads of, spe uh, obviously, chat about that and different things, and um, I don't really know that much about it, to be honest, um, to comment on it, so, you know, it's good to be, to be linked with them. Um, 
not a bad side to be fair. Um, so uh, you know, I'm, it's, I, I don't really know too much about it, boys. But for now, it's all about the future and Hull City. Yeah, well, that's it. That, that, you know, I'm, uh, I believe obviously Everton Hams for a reason, um, and you know, I must have done something um, right to caught obviously the manager's eye um, um, this season. Uh, so I, I'm, I'm really obviously looking forward to getting to meet my new teammates and, uh, as I say, get out there and, and show the fans what I can do.